Every daughter is her mother's little princess, but some mothers are taking it to a whole new level. I'm not just talking a little tiara and a bit of taffeta. The new baby thing is bling and lots of it. Then there's fake tans, fake nails and fake hair. Glamming up little girls was once the reserve of beauty pageants and niche on the margins of society. But now blinging up baby is very big business. Hi, Bonham. Yeah. Happy get. Good girl. When Sammy Bushell takes her 18-month-old daughter, Hayley May, to the park, it's more like a scene from Gone with the Wind. Does it make walking for her any more difficult? No, not really. She can't climb the stairs in it. <laughs> she does cry. Sammy always dreamed of having a daughter so she could dress her like a princess. Why is that the perfect look? Because I think a girl should be in dresses. You know, they've got all their life to wear trousers or leggings, whatever, but they're only babies for so long. And if you can dress them in what you want to dress them, you're going to do, aren't you? So, I want dresses. I love it. <laughs> Essex is Britain's capital of fake tans, flash clothes and bling. And it's home to student and single mum Sophie Mae Dixon and her daughters, four-year-old Princess Bliss Tiana May and one-year-old precious belle, Ruby Rosina. You look like little Thumbelina. Every day. From the moment her daughters were born, Sophie May decided they'd stand out from the crowd. You ain't got your hair on? Yeah, OK. Should we put your hair on? My girls, I would say, are like the little Barbie babies. If Barbie was real, that they would be her children. That is what her children would look like. <laughs> you know, you do make it sound like you're dressing a doll. I don't really mind. She's my doll at the end of the day. She's my princess. She's my little girl. And how long we have that one girl? Well, so far anyway. And every girl dresses the little girls up. Part-time beautician Sammy saves everything she has to spend it all on Hayley May, thousands of dollars each year, browsing the burgeoning online designer baby boutiques for the perfect dress and matching accessory. You know, the socks and the headbands, the bows, the shoes, the tights for the knickers, um, your bling that you put on, you know, if you have a dummy, the dummy clips and the dummies and all the crystals that you put on the dummies, it never ends. <laughs> It's little wonder that the children's wear market in the UK alone is now worth over $10 billion a year. All these dresses that we see around here, are they special occasion dresses? No. No? No, it's day wear. She wears it every day. Marie Fullerton and her daughter Hayley run a booming baby wear shop called Fairy Tale in Liverpool. And the key element to their success is bling. Can there ever be too much bling? Never. I don't think there can ever be enough bling. Just, the more the better. You can bling just about anything yeah. and we're trying it. <laughs> From dummies to potties to baby bottles, some even bling their entire prams. As an auntie, Whitney Rowlands has been a long-time fan of Marie's shop. Hey, Whitney. But as a brand new mum, her interest has become an obsession. I love that dress. It's gorgeous. That dress looks fabulous on. She's got every fan, I'd say near enough every dress in here she owns. Already? She's only three weeks old. Yeah. <laughs> she's, I've got hundreds, well not hundreds, I'd say a good 50 at home that she hasn't worn yet. How much has Whitney spent in your store? I can't, I can't tell you that. Too much. Fair to say, an obscene amount of money? Yeah. Just, if she likes it, she gets it, no matter what the price is. So did, do you find out it's elaborate and expensive. Just her pram was over two and a half thousand dollars. But for Whitney, it's all in the name of love. Why is it so important to dress your daughter like this? Because she's special and I want her to have the best. So I like people to look at her and everyone comments on her and says how beautiful she is. But all the bling and all the frills are just the start for some mothers. We've got matching 
Converse's in all colours, we've got matching hair pieces, we've got matching Ralph Lauren jumpers, we've got matching Ralph Lauren tops, we've got loads of matching stuff. Sophie May and her mini-me daughter, four-year-old Princess Bliss, are getting ready for one of their regular joint beauty sessions. What did you want, so? Oh, I want to go a bit darker, so because I'm so pale. And what about Prin? So no, Prin. What did you sort of want to look? Black you. Yeah. <laughs> so I usually spray tan like teenagers, young people. The age range has. It does vary, but it's, it's gone down a lot. You know, there is a lot of youngsters that do want to be like their mums, and who do want to be tanned. You ready? Yay! Right, gonna take a deep breath. One, two, three. Do you want to step out of the tent for me, please, darling? And shall we show your mum us your tan line? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's good. It's so bright. It's really dark. She is a little Essex Barbie baby. Mm, kiss, kiss. Mm. Oh. If all this wasn't extreme enough, some mothers carry it further signing up their daughters to put their looks on the line in beauty pageants. Is it true that if you wear bling, you're more likely to win? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many tiaras do you have at home? About 80. About 80? Really? Do you want to get your crowns out, darling? Yeah, yeah. That one was my favourite one. Single and unemployed mum, 33-year-old Leanne Dix, also tans and blings up her babies. Bessie Sue, six, and four-year-old Scarlett on a competitive level. They are very talented little girls, and I have invested a lot in them. Mummy, why is gold so special on medal? Means you're a winner. How? Well, if you if you come second, you're a first loser. Hi, oh. oh. everybody. Every weekend, there are dozens of these child beauty pageants across Britain. It takes a lot, a lot of time, but it's worth it. She loves it. And that's what being a parent's about, isn't it? Making your kids fulfil their dreams, what they want to do. That's what you want to do, isn't it, baby? Pitting not just girl against girl. And our second princess goes to Sky. Well done. But sometimes, mother against daughter, when their little princesses fail to make queen as it was for Skye, left to chase her unhappy mum out of the pageant. Meanwhile, Leanne has come up with an outfit for four-year-old Scarlett she hopes will blow away the competition in the upcoming Teeny Miss Glitz pageant. My latest outfit's for Scarlett, and I'm working on a Hooters outfit for her, so we'll put together a nice little routine. So this is a good picture because it shows you the uniform that they wear. So I've not been to Hooters Bar, but I know they're popular in America, and it was just something that I thought of. Um, it was an easy costume to make. The next step for your daughter, the beauty pageant scene, will you put her into that? Yeah, I would like to put her in the beauty pageants. And why is that? I don't know, it's something for her, you know, to look back on and what she achieved when she was younger. But what about the losing as opposed to the winning? I mean, that could be confidence-destroying, couldn't it? I suppose it could. I've never really thought of that, to be honest. You know, end of the day, everybody wins and loses every day in life. You know, you put a bet on the lottery. If you don't win, you lose, don't you? You can't sit and cry about it. It's a way of life. For Leanne, at least, it's all about winning. But there's a problem. Yes or no? No. I'm scared. Leanne's hopes seem dashed. But finally, she convinces Scarlett to go on stage. Next, we have
Are you going to do your um, Hooters one next? Yeah. And how does that start? Yeah. Scarlett's last chance at the grand prize rests with the Hooters costume. Watching this, it's hard to believe anyone thinks this is a good idea or in good taste. Now, it's up to the judges. Third place goes to Miss Scarlett. Leanne can't hide her disappointment with third place. That means you haven't won, basically. Babies in beauty pageants, toddlers in tulle, playthings on which to lavish bling and expectation. Do you love it? But these littlies can only live their parents' dream for so long. Something Sammy recognises, but ever so regretfully. If Hayley grows into a tomboy, never wears a dress again, how heartbroken will you be? <laughs> I would be very heartbroken. <laughs> but what will be will be. If she doesn't want to wear the dresses and she don't want to wear the bling or the hair, you know, or the hair extensions or the makeup, then that's her choice. I can't stop her. It's totally her choice. What will be will be. Girl. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.